Welcome inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center in the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Tonight we have a Newmac Conference women's basketball matchup. It's between the Wheaton College Lions hosting the Salve Virginia University Seahawks. This is Sal Lopez on the call tonight for the Newmac Sports Network and welcome to the broadcast. Wheaton College has a record of 9 and 10 overall entering this matchup. Same as Salve Regina coming into today's game. Whedon looking to make a push towards the Newmac Conference postseason, which will start in February. Right now, the Lions with a record of 1 and 4 overall this season. Currently in, t in a tie for ninth place in the conference alongside WPI. They're 3 and 4 on their home floor for Whedon coming off three straight losses. Savi Regina, a record of 9 and 10 overall. They're 3 and 2 in Newmac Conference play so far. And a tie for sixth place in the moment alongside Babson. The Seahawks are 2-4 and four on the road. They're coming off a loss at home against number 21 ranked Smith College, 71-43 on Saturday. Today will be the 17th all-time meeting in the series between the Wheaton College and Salve Regina. Salve Regina leads the all-time series with 10 victories and 6 losses dating back to 1983. This is the first time ever that these two teams have met up. As Newmac Conference opponents in a conference game, Savi Regina's first season as a program in the Newmac. Last year, these two teams met up last season, and that was when Whedon was able to pick up the victory, 61 to 52 on their home floor last season by Whedon. That snapped a four game losing streak by the Lions to Savi Regina. Last season's season meeting was the first time that Whedon and Savi Regina faced each other since 2008 which the other, was the other meeting before that. Savi Regina picked up four straight victories against Whedon in 2005, 2006, 2007, and 2008. Last season, both of these teams faced against each other back on December 8, 2022. Whedon won on their home floor here, 61 to 52. Last season's win marked Whedon's seventh straight victory in a row at that point last season. It was Points in the paint that were they were dominant in for the Lions in the last matchup against Salve Regina, 28 to 8 in that favor in favor of Whedon. And also the Lions committed a season low eight turnovers last season in the matchup against the Seahawks. They forced Salve Regina into 16 total turnovers. And marked the total off points off turnovers 17 to 4 in that matchup for Whedon. Abby Fernani scored a team high 16 points alongside four steals. The previous matchup against Salve Regina, Nasha Arnold posted a double-double. She had 13 points and 14 rebounds. For the Seahawks, Morgan Shuey scored a game-high 18 points. She went 3 for 5 from the perimeter the last meeting against Whedon. And then Amanda Follin added in 16 points, tallied in 7 total rebounds alongside 4 main threes. Brianna Neary, Neary had 12 total points alongside 6 rebounds in that matchup. Both of these teams looking to bounce back after a loss on Saturday. Wheaton College lost on the road against Springfield, 79-56. Springfield out to a great start this season, tied for first place in the NUMAC. A five-way tie currently at the top of the conference alongside Smith, MIT, Clark at the top of the conference alongside with Coast Guard as well in a five-way tie with Springfield. And Whedon's looking to bounce back in this game tonight. They struggle with the turnovers. They committed 22 total turnovers on Saturday against Springfield, only 10 by the Pride in that matchup, which Springfield outnumbered Whedon 33-7 to on points off turnovers in that matchup. It was 20-5 to on the points off the fast break for Springfield. Madeline Dewey, she was the lone player for Whedon who scored in double figures. She tallied in a team high 14 points with four main threes. She's on a roll lately, averaging 13 points per game in their previous two games for Dewey. And for Savi Regina, also they're coming off a double digit loss. That was at home against number 21 ranked Smith College. Smith, the defending Newmac Conference Tournament champions from last season. Their shooting efficiency was a major difference in that game where Smith shot the ball an efficient 48% from the floor. They limited Savi Regina to 26% shooting in that matchup. It was the second lowest field goal shooting percentage this season by the Seahawks. Points in the paint, Smith was dominant in, in the win over Savi, 36 to 14. And also just like Whedon, Savi Regina also had just one player scoring double figures in the last game. That was Brianna Neary. She had a team high 10 total points for Savi Regina. 
and her younger sister, Sophia Neary, added in eight total points with a game-high 11 rebounds for Salve in the loss against Smith on Saturday. So upcoming here, inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center, we will have a new Mac Conference matchup between the Wheaton College Lions hosting the Salve Regina University Seahawks. Both of these teams looking to make a push towards the top eight of the standings, which would qualify for the new Mac Conference tournament. New Mac Conference tournament quarterfinals that will begin in February. That's on Wednesday, February 21st, as we are closing out the month of January here and then on to February on the schedule for College Hoops action. Upcoming, Wheaton College hosting Savi Regina. A couple moments, Sal Lopez on the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. And tonight is a Donate for Life game. To speak about this initiative will be junior women's basketball player, Abby Fernandez.
not be tolerated. And it's going to move up to that competition. Also, I don't know. 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 At this time, we ask that you please rise and keep it. inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center in the campus of Wheaton College in North to Massachusetts. Tonight we have a NUMAC Conference women's basketball matchup. It's between the Wheaton College Lions hosting the Salve Virginia University Seahawks. This is Sal Lopez in the call tonight for the NUMAC Sports Network and welcome to the broadcast. Both of these teams have the same identical overall records this season. Wheaton College with a 9-10 and 10 record. They're 1-4 in NUMAC Conference play. Tied for ninth place in the conference alongside WPI, three and four on their home floor. Whedon looking to bounce back tonight after losing three straight games in a row. Salve Regina. Salve Regina, record of nine and ten overall, three and two in NUMAC conference play as we are underway. The Seahawks control the opening tip. Right now, Salve Regina tied for sixth place in the conference alongside Babson down low. 
Off the mark, missed off the back rim from point blank range by Brianna Neary, the senior captain from Wayne, New Jersey. As Whedon will go quick up the floor with Tatum Young out to the top of three, straight away, splash. It's good by Regan Cater from downtown. Starters in the matchup today, Regan Cater for Whedon, Madeline Dewey, Abby Fernandes, Tatum Young, and Nasha Arnold, Savi Regina starters. Morgan Shuey, Sophia Neary, Brianna Neary, Amanda Follin, and Ashley Rourke. The three taken straight away, missed by Rourke, rebound control by Cater. Cater with a quick three so far, Young at the top of the key will slow down tempo here for the Lions. Sends it out to a right to Fernandes. Passes down low, Cater up and in, scores. Off the backboard, good for two, past Sophia Neary. Excellent start so far, the first five points on the board in the opening minute by Regan Cater, the sophomore forward from Highlands Ranch, Colorado. No good off the back rim, second chance, able to score off the putback by Brianna Neary. Savi Regina led by a duo of the Neary sisters. Sophia, the younger sister, a sophomore, the top scorer on the team. Brianna right behind her sister, Sophia, in scoring. Brianna, the team captain, a senior. The older sister just scored a first bucket for the Seahawks. Arnold on top off the Fernandes towards the right to Cater with all five. The lob down low, Arnold. Arnold off the pivot, keeps the dribble going. Missed off the glass, no good though. Salve Regina, fourth in the nation, or uh, top 65 in the nation, fourth in the NUMAC in scoring this season as they commit the turnover. First turn turnover of the game. Whedon today looking to make sure to cut back on those turnovers. They committed 22 total turnovers in the loss against Springfield on Saturday. Both of these teams looking to bounce back after losing their previous game by double digits. Young off the crossover, lobs it down low, deflected. Able to pick it up was Cater, but lost it. That'll be the first turnover of the game by Whedon. Jumper for the deep two off the rim, no good. Missed by Brianna Neary, tap to the bounds. And this will be Whedon basketball so far. So. Starting off this game so far in the first two and a half minutes of action, playing into the role of the defense here for Wheaton College. That's been their strong suit this season. Nine and one record when they've allowed their opponents to 67 points or fewer this season. They went on a four game winning streak at one point late December into early January because they allowed four straight opponents to under 50 points per game. Dewey crossover drives inside the paint, off the glass, no good. The rebound secured by the Seahawks at the baseline. Morgan Shuey brings it up the floor, the grad student captain from Corning, Iowa. She's ranked seventh in the nation, averaging 6.2 assists per game. Shuey at the corner, lobs it down low underneath, and Brianna Neary scores up and off the glass, good for two. So, so far the scoring has been through one player each for both of these teams so far. Brianna Neary with all four for Savi Regina, all five so far by Regan Cater for Whedon. That will change now. Inside Akeen, Nasha Arnold for two. Good start so far for the Whedon offense in this game. Salve Regina chipping back in though. Inside the interior answers, answers with a basket by Sophia Neary. Fernandes, her lob deflected out of bounds. It will stay. Whedon basketball though. 6-12 left to go in a quick first quarter so far of action. Both of these teams have faced four opponents in common this season. Johnson and Wales, Regents College, Mount Holyoke College, and Smith College. Whedon going two and two against that grouping of opponents. Wins over Johnson and Wales and Mount Holyoke. Losses against Regis and Smith. The three-point shot able to bounce in. That is good there by Madeline Dewey. Whedon with a four-point advantage right now. Baseline jumper, no good off the back room. Offensive rebound control by Rourke, guarded by Mueller. Brings the double team inside Neary. Off the glass, too strong, and Whedon here looks to push it off the rebound. Fernandes up the floor, loose ball, goes right back to the Seahawks, though. Shuey finds Rourke around the perimeter, takes the three off the back room, no good. And another rebound collected by Fernandes. 
Nice find down low by Fernandes with a basket. Emma Kiernan, the senior four from Wayland, Massachusetts, scores up and in, good for two. Excellent start so far in this game in the first five minutes of action for Whedon. Inside a low post, got it in one. Brianna Neary gonna head to the free throw line. Cuts the score down to four right now. Manny Mueller picked up the personal foul. So we have substitutions here for both of these teams. Deanna Linscott comes in first time today for Savvy Regina. Anaya Boston now onto the floor for Whedon. Brianna Neary, the senior captain from Wayne, New Jersey, making her 18th start this season. Averaging 15.4 points per game. Second on the team behind her younger sister, Sophia, who's averaging 15.8. One shot here at the line by Brianna Neary, it's good. And Salve Regina's been an excellent free throw shooting team this season for the Seahawks. 72%. All five starters are shooting at the free throw line this season. Entry pass down low, Mueller. Kick out to the corner, off to Fernandes. Drives baseline, lost the handle on the key. Mueller able to scoop it up, and she draws the foul. Great hustle right there, number 13. Maddie Mueller to keep the possession alive, and she'll shoot two. First one gets the bounce. Mueller came into tonight's game, 12 for 17 at the free throw line. Her career high is 12 points against Bridgewater State back on December the 9th. Second one's good. So good answer back by Whedon as they up the lead back to five. Marissa Farino, number one, first time on the floor, sends it on top off to Rourke. Brings a double team along, off to her right to the corner as they will drive baseline. Kick out to the left corner, baseline jumper, deep two, got it. Marissa Farino, the sophomore guard from Watertown, Connecticut, drills it. Boston had a career high 14 points against Mount Holyoke two weeks ago, drives inside the paint, slices defenders, but draws the contact and the foul. Referee's calling on the floor. That's picked up by Farino for Salve Regina. So this will be an inbound coming up for Whedon. Kenneth Jasperson, the inbound passer. Sends it off to Boston. Boston guarded by Farino around the outside. Boston sends it out left corner. Dewey takes the three. Comes up short off the rim. And Farino there to collect the rebound. Farino on top off to Rourke, wide open, shoots it. She makes it. <laughs> Ashley Rourke, the junior, four from Londonderry, New Hampshire, wide open at the top, drilled a three, miscommunication there defensively for Whedon, and now the Lions turn it over. Tie game at 14, Salve Regina. Strong offensive team this season for the Seahawks, putting up 71.5 points per game they're averaging, fourth in the New Mac, top 65 in the nation. Three players averaging double figures this season. Rourke is one of them, same as Sophia Neary, the top scorer, who will head to the free throw line, shoot two. The scoring distribution this season, led by a trio for Salve Regina. The Neary sisters, a duo, younger sister at the free throw line right now, Sophia Neary, averaging 15.8 points per game. That's the top score for the team, fourth in the New Mac. Her older sister, Brianna right behind at 15.4 points per game. And then Ashley Rourke averaging 13 and a half points per game. Both of them are good. First lead of the game right now for the Seahawks comes with 318 remaining in the first. Whedon looking for the answer. So we'll stay possession arrow for the Lions. So Sophia, Sophia Neary commits the reach and foul. Cater lobs it off to Kiernan inside the paint. Outside Cater shoots the three straight away. Off the rim short. Offensive rebound keeps it alive though by Kiernan. Had an opening for a moment. Off the hands though, a Cater. It's a turnover. 
And now the Seahawks have it up the floor. They will slow it down back in transition. Vork, wide open jumper, 15 footer. Off the back from no good. Offensive rebound controlled by Sophia Neary. Gave it away though to Jasperson with a steal. Big game between both of these teams tonight. Wheaton College 9 and 10 overall, 1 and 4 in NUMAC conference play. Currently tied for ninth place in the NUMAC alongside WPI. Savi Regina also 9 and 10 overall. But they have the better conference record at 3 and 2 in the conference. Tied for sixth place right now alongside Babson. Air ball by Dewey. We didn't able to maintain it. Jasperson tiptoes the baseline and she draws the reach and foul. That's now the fourth personal foul picked up by Salvi Regina here in the first quarter. One more will send them off to the bonus. That's charged to Rourke her first personal foul. As Rourke substitutes out right now. Dewey and Jasperson back to the bench. Tatum Young will be the inbound passer. Inbound goes to Boston around the perimeter. Boston towards her right over to Cater. Up fake, dribbles up, drives down the lane, and a little bit too strong right there off the glass. Had the idea though off the dribble drive, just couldn't finish with the right hand. Sophia Neary takes the three, missed off the back rim, offensive rebound back to the Seahawks. They've been a Strong offensive rebounding team this season. Farino drives downhill to the rim. She scores up and in off the backboard. Largest lead stretching it out to four right now for Salva Regina, the sophomore guard from Watertown, Connecticut. Marissa Farino on the board. Cater lobs off the Kiernan. Outside Fernandes, extra pass around the perimeter. Back to a three that missed short by Cater. Good to see the ball moving like that for Whedon, though. They've been struggling in the assist column this season. Just not able to get that three-point shot to drop for Cater. Got one to begin this game in the early going. Sophia Neary downhill right to the rim with a layup with a left hand. Upping the lead to six right now, and Neary's the top scorer this season, averaging 15.8 points per game for Sophia. 14 games, scoring a double figures for Sophia Neary. Deep two jumper missed off the mark by Cater. So a lot of low percentage shots as of late here towards the late stage of the first quarter for Whedon and Savi Regina able to operate getting to the rim. Olivia Martin around the perimeter sends it out to a right two for Reno. Steps into a wide open three missed off the back rim as Cater collects the defensive rebound. Fernandes cross court pass Young drives attacks downhill blocked to the bounds. So Whedon stuck right now offensively, looking to get their team right now back on the right track. They've been scoreless held for for the last four minutes and 15 seconds. Looking for a quality look off the inbound, down to 25 seconds left to go in the first quarter. Dangerous down the far side, the roll to travel, the pass right there. As Tatum Young tried to come up with it, but roll to travel by the referees as it will go back to Salve with 22 seconds left. Shot clock turned off. Seahawks with a possession. Up by six, currently looking to see if they can stretch it to close out the first quarter. Follin towards her right. Dribbles up, drives on Boston. Follin, baseline dribble. Kick out to the corner, intercepted by Fernandes. Under five seconds left to go, pass midcourt. Fernandes slicing defenders at the buzzer. Too tall off the glass. As we close out at the end of the first quarter, Salve Regina. 20 to 14 with the Seahawks leading part of an 11 zip run in just under the previous five minutes. They close out the first quarter of action a 14 to two run by Savvy Regina. The Seahawks up by six at the end of quarter number one tonight here inside the Emerson gym at the Haas Athletic Center. Eight points by Sophia Neary, the top scorer. Five points by Brianna Neary. Sophia Neary with six rebounds, the top rebounder tonight. Regan Cater for Whedon with five points alongside Emma Kiernan. We're through one in the books. The Seahawks lead 20 to 14 against Whedon tonight. We'll be back in the second quarter of action on the New Max Sports Network.
And welcome inside to Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center in the campus of Wiener College in North Massachusetts. Sal Lopez on the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. Savi Regina, six point lead currently in the Seahawks leading the points in the paint 12 to four at the moment. Limiting, limiting Whedon right now to just five for 15 shooting from the floor. Savi, eight for 18 at the moment. Jumper, mid range, got it. That's her sweet spot right there for Abby Fernandes on the board for her first two points tonight. Fernandes, the number two scorer on the team, averaging 9.5 points per game, was named 2022 NUMAC Rookie of the Year two seasons ago. Rourke at the top, sends it off to the wing over to Neary. Brianna Neary fires a fastball off to Rourke, shot clock winding down to eight now. Off the roll down, Brianna Neary, kick out baseline, jumper deep two, got it. Able to rattle it in. That is Amanda Fullen, the senior guard from North Dattleboro, Massachusetts. Fullen now with her first two points tonight. Arnold with possession for Whedon, slides it off to Boston. Boston off the attack. Floats up the runner, able to drop down for two by Anaya Boston. Circus type of shot right there, able to fall somehow, some way. We're down to a four point game. A cross court off to Fullen. Rourke around the perimeter towards her right, sends it out to the far side corner to Fullen. Drives baseline over Arnold, banks it home, up and then off the glass. Points in the paint, been a key so far this game for the Seahawks. They go directly back there. They lead points in the paint currently in this matchup, 14 to four. Looking to stretch the six point advantage now for the Seahawks. Morgan Shuey with possession, the grad student captain from Corning, Iowa. Dribbles up top of the key. Off to Martin. Now they move it off Frito circle, off the up fake driving downhill. And they get Arnold on the blocking foul. So two free throws here coming up at the line for Salvi Regina. This will send Brianna Neary to the free throw line. Fourth in the NUMAC this season, shooting 79.4% at the charity stripe. First one missed though off the back rim. Neary last Wednesday scored a career high 38 points against Emerson. That was in a shootout victory for Savi Regina. 92 to 87 on the road at Emerson. That gave Savi Regina the one game advantage over Emerson in conference play entering tonight. Free throw number two is good. And this is a strong Seahawks team when it comes down to free throws. That's the key for Savi Regina, getting to the free throw line as often as possible. They got all five starters shooting at least 72%, 11 of 14 players making at least 72% of their free throws as a team. They shoot 76% at the free throw line, leading the new Mac 13th in the nation. Arnold inside a key, fall away, tough shot. Off the rim, no good. It's the rebound comes away with the Seahawks. Shuey passes down low. Miss shot off the glass, Boston there to collect the rebound. Looking to see if they can start to get quality looks. Fernandes, jumper, deep two, off the back rim, no good. That's a difficult shot right there, taking it from the baseline, contested by Fernandes, but she's looking to see if she can start to get back into a rhythm. Her season high is 19 points. Last year, she had a career high where she tied the school record last season with 37 total points. Two-point shot down low by Brianna Neary. Up to eight points tonight for Neary. Missed three off the back rim by Sprague. The rebound comes back to the Seahawks now. So they were looking for some firepower around the perimeter. Riley Sprague came into the game 11 for 18 from three-point range. This is the largest lead right now in the game for Salva Regina as they will slow down tempo. Get a foul here away from the basketball, picked up, charge to Arnold. That's her second personal foul on the floor right now. And Arnold will substitute out of the game, same as Cheyenne Colbert. And also we will have a timeout on the floor as well. 27 to 18 to score, 647 left to go. The second quarter of action tonight between Savi Regina and Whedon. The Seahawks 
with a nine point lead as we head to a timeout on the New Max Sports Network. Nine point lead right now for Salva Regino. We welcome you back to action. Sal Lopez on the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. The Neary sisters tallying eight points each, combining for 16 so far in this game. Brianna and Sophia. Amanda Fullen with four. Marissa Farino with four for Salva Regina. Splash from the perimeter. Off the inbound. It's a May three by Ashley Rourke, the junior from London, Derry, New Hampshire. That's her second May three of the game. Both of them, she's been directly wide open, up to six points now tonight for Rourke. Both of these teams came in totally different in how they've been operating this season. Salva Regina fourth in the, in the New Mac in points scored per game, but last place in total defense in the conference. Whedon, their strong suit this season has been through their defense, but ranking just 10th in scoring. Baseline jumper connects. This game's starting to get out of hand right now for Whedon. Brianna Neary already up to double figures. That is now her 17th game this season that she has reached double figures in scoring for the senior captain from Wayne, New Jersey. The three comes up short, missed by Cater. They're starting to attack that perimeter defense. Salva Regina struggling defending the perimeter shots, but holding up so far in this game. The only three, only made two threes so far tonight. Both of them in the first quarter, yet to make one in the second. As we will see Brianna Neary head to the free throw line, shoot two more. So Brianna Neary up to 17 games now this season in double figures. Four of those games have been with at least 20 points for Neary. Three double-doubles. Had that career high game one week ago last Wednesday against Emerson. 38 points on 14 for 22 shooting. 10 for 11 at the free throw line. Also had a 14 point game alongside a season high 18 rebounds against Regis College on January 4th. First one missed off the rim short. Second free throw is good. A dominant South Regina. Second quarter of action outscoring Whedon 13 to four right now. The line's looking for offensive momentum here to get them back into this game. Just two for seven shooting. Fernandes mid range, swish. Able to deliver for two by Abby Fernandes. She's got four of the six so far in the second for Whedon at the moment. Brianna Neary dribbles back, jumper deep too, missed off the glass. Comes to Sprague with a rebound. Sprague up the floor, attacks inside the paint, bounce pass down low, Cater up and in off the glass, scores for two. Now they're starting to draw back a little bit. Starting to get better looks attacking the Seahawks defense. Under five minutes left to go. Before halftime and the Seahawks will burn a timeout. 33 to 22, Salva Regina up by 11 with 4.44 left to go before halftime here inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center. We'll be back in a couple moments on the New Max Sports Network. Point lead right now for Salva Regina as we welcome you back to action here. Sal Lopez on the call tonight on the New Max Sports Network. The Seahawks with a possession coming back from the timeout. Rourke moves it on top off the Farino. Back outside of Rourke's already made two threes in this game. Drives inside the paint 
Off the glass, no good. Cater comes down with a defensive rebound. Off the floor, pushing tempo, Dewey. Dribble back outside, puts the ball into the hands to Kenneth Jasperson, the sophomore guard from Sacramento, California. Dewey's had some strong games late, averaging 13 points per game in the previous two. Goes out to the corner to Dewey. Shot clock's down to eight. Jasperson looking for something here as they will move it to the free throw circle. Out to the corner. Here's a three from the corner. It goes off the top of the glass. Out of bounds for Whedon. Shot by Kiernan. Jumper at the free throw circle, missed off the back rim, no good by Sophia Neary. They were able to come up though with an offensive rebound. Another strong suit this season for Sava Regina, offensive rebounds, averaging around 15 of those offensive rebounds per game, second in the new Mac. As it will go out of bounds, deflected out by Whedon though. So three and a half left to go before halftime. Points in the paint so far have been a major difference maker in this game in the first half. Salvi Regina leading that number at the moment. 16 to eight, doubling up Whedon. Rourke dribbles up, mid-range, takes it. Off the mark, no good, a rebound pulled down for another board by Cater. That's now our seventh rebound tonight in the first half by Regan Cater. Sprague came into the game shooting 11 for 18 from three. Entry pass off to Cater, draws the foul. And Cater will shoot two at the free to line as it was Sophia Neary who picked up the blocking foul. Needing both of these free throws. Cater came into tonight just 58.8% at the free throw line and missed the first one. Cater was named NUMAC Defensive Athlete of the Week. That was for week three this season. She recorded 13 points with seven rebounds, three blocks, and a steal. And a victory over Johnson and Wales. Second free throw able to drop down. So Whedon cuts it here to a 10 point game at the moment. Massive conference game today. Both of these teams with identical overall records, one game below 500 at nine and 10, but Sava Regina, the better conference record, three and two in the new Mac, tie for sixth place in the moment against Babson, whereas Whedon tie for ninth place in the conference alongside WPI with a one and four conference record. Top eight teams advance to the new Mac conference tournament, which begins on February 21st. Brianna Neary, her pass deflected into the hands to Rourke though, passes to the corner. Double team and a travel. So a turnover called there by Amanda Fullen. So we'll go back to the Lions. Whedon two for eight so far in this game from the perimeter. Fernandes dribbles up to the elbow outside Jasperson, sends it out to her right. And traveling violation called on Cheyenne Colbert on the turnover. So they had chance to draw one in single digits, but turnovers gonna hurt right now. That's their eight turnover the game for Whedon, four by the Seahawks at the moment. So we have a foul picked up on the floor, charged to the Lions. That's now their fourth as a team here in the second quarter. Regan Cater picks up her first personal foul. Inbound goes to Rourke. Already has made two threes so far, both of them left in the open. Farino at the wing, sends it out to her left. Here's a three catch and fire. Off the back room, no good, missed by Martin. Jasperson deflected out of bounds, it will stay Wheaton basketball. The Lions got a deep team this season. Rotation with 10 players in the rotation, averaging at least 13 and a half minutes per game. Number two in the NUMAC conference in bench points, averaging just under 20 bench points per game. Colbert, jumper, mid-range, off the rim, no good. Rebound controlled by the Seahawks. Defense, 
Rourke has it at the top, working on Jasperson off the screen, takes the jumper, connects on it. Two more on the board for Ashley Rourke, the junior forward from London, Derry, New Hampshire. Averaging 13 and a half points per game this season. It's their front court that's been strong this season between the two forwards, Sophia and Brianna Neary and also Ashley Rourke. 115 left to go before halftime. Sava Regina is going to slow down the tempo here. 12 point lead for the Seahawks as they'll take a three at the wing around the rim and out missed by Martin. We're looking for some urgency here offensively for Whedon as Fernandes will push it. Fernandes with four so far. And luckily it's going to stay Whedon basketball. Try to fit it into a double team off the cater. Just touched out of bounds, knocked out of bounds by the Seahawks before. Inbound goes to Boston. Boston with a career high, 14 points two weeks ago against Mount Holyoke. Gives it off to Fernandes, turns the corner, base takes it, and she makes it. After turning the corner right there inside, a key with a mid-range. Looking to answer back, no good off the back rim, missed by Brianna Neary. Boston looking to push tempo here, down by 10. Approaching the 20 second mark left to go. One second differential shot clock and game clock to close out going to halftime. Kiernan towards her right, deflected out of bounds, touched by Rourke. This could be a momentum builder here entering halftime for Whedon if they're able to get this basket, they would crawl back into single digits, give them more momentum entering halftime, the pass off. He deflected all the bounds, last touch by Salva Regina there. That was close to being off the fingertips of Cater. This will stay Lions ball though with 9.2 seconds left to go. Inbound underneath, sent off to Fernandes. Fernandes, crossover, jumper, deep two. Off the rim, short pinwheels, right back to Cater though, up and in scores. Off the backboard right before the buzzer. Big opportunity, able to get it off the second chance points right there by Regan Cater. Having an excellent first half for Wheaton College as they draw win an eight at halftime in this one in NUMAC conference action. Signs of life for the Lions. Right now with a second chance bucket off the Fernandes miss, Cater. Up to 10 points right now, the top score in the game for Whedon on four for nine, shooting nine rebounds as Cater. Looking like she's gonna have a double-double before this game is wrapped up. She's had one this season for double-doubles as it came against LaSalle with 13 points and a career-high 11 rebounds. Nine total rebounds tallied in the first half tonight by Cater. Abby Fernandes with six points, three assists, one steal. Five points by Emma Kiernan for Whedon. And Sava Regina, the top scorers, the first half of action. Brianna Neary, 11 points total by Brianna Neary. Eight points by her sister, Sophia Neary. And then eight points, making two threes tonight by Ashley Rourke. We're through one half of action tonight. Sava Regina on the road, leading Whedon 35-27 here on the campus of Whedon College inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center. We'll be back for the second half in around 14 and a half minutes from now on the DMAX Sports Network.
And welcome back inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center in the campus of Wheaton College in Norton, Massachusetts. Sal Lopez in the call tonight. On the Numac Sports Network is we're at halftime right now, 35 to 27. Saver Regina, eight point lead currently at the half against Wheaton College. The first half of action, it was Wheaton that led early in the first quarter, but Saver Regina has led ever since they went on to an 11 zip run at one point in the late first quarter. Efficiency has been the difference maker in the game so far. Saver Regina shooting 42.4% from the floor, limiting Wheaton to 36.7% in the first half of action. Just four total turnovers by the Seahawks, nine turnovers by Wheaton. Points off of those turnovers, Saver Regina in the favor of the Seahawks, five to zero. Points in the paint as well, 16 to 12. It's a trio that's leading the Seahawks right now in the first half. Brianna Neary with a game high 11 points so far. Her sister Sophia Neary with eight points and then Ashley Rourke with eight points as well. That trio is averaging double figures between the three this season of the two Neary sisters and Ashley Rourke. Sophia Neary, the top scorer, averaging 15.8 points per game and then her older sister Brianna Neary right behind averaging 15.4. Ashley Rourke's averaging 13 and a half points per game this season. Rourke's made two open threes in that first half of action for Wheaton College. Looking to see if they can have more scoring help in this game. The top score is Regan Cater. She's the lone player up to double figures in the first half for Wheaton. She had 10 points with nine rebounds. That is key because one more rebound, she'll have her second double-double of this season for Cater. And also, she is looking to post a career high in rebounds, which right now is 11, which she had against LaSalle University back in November 15th. She had a career high 11 rebound game alongside 13 points in that matchup for Regan Cater. Abby Fernandez, six points, the number two scorer currently with three total assists. Fernandez, though, much better job taking care of the basketball in this game. Just one total turnover in the first half, and that is a key here for Whedon. They had nine in the first half as a team. Fernandez has had 17 turnovers winning the previous two games, seven in the last game against Springfield, 10 in the previous game a week ago against Clark, looking to limit the turnovers, and she has done that tonight with just one total through the first two quarters of action by Fernandes. But Whedon here looking to bounce back. A key for the Lions is to see if they can start to get their perimeter shots to drop. Just two for eight in the first half from three. Saber Regina's defense, though, is last in the new Mac, allowing opponents to shoot just under 33% from the perimeter. So that's a key that Whedon will potentially see if they can start to make their threes in the second half. Madeline Dewey has had a couple big three-point shooting games this season. Whedon with white uniforms, blue numbers, blue letters. Sava Regina, blue jerseys, green numbers, green letters. The Seahawks have the ball first to start off the third quarter of action. Left to right on the floor for Sava Regina. Baseline drive up and in off the glass. It's good for two by Morgan Shuey, the grad student captain from Corning, Iowa. Difference maker so far has been efficiency in this game above 42% by Salve, around 36% by Whedon. The Lions missed their first shot and Salve goes a quick two for two in the first 40 seconds of action down inside the low post for another bucket. Brianna Neary having an excellent game. The top score with 13 now. Young on top off the Fernandes. Fernandes bounce pass right corner, Arnold. Arnold backs her way off the pivot. Arnold floats at the shot around and out as it's a rebound hauled in by Sophia Neary. 21 points combined between the Neary sisters so far in this game. Whedon with 27 on the board. Runner off the back room, no good. Missed by Brianna Neary. Offensive rebound right back to Shuey though. Bounce pass back to Brianna Neary. Puts up the shot, gets fouled. She was working on Cater, and Cater picks up her second personal foul now. So Cater in a little bit of foul trouble will have to come out of this game currently, and she's been the lone hot hand in this game for Whedon at the moment with 10 points. Been a busy day today already by Brianna Neary at the free throw line, three for five at the moment. First one's good. 
fourth in the new max, shooting 79.4% at the free throw line. Came into this game 54 for 68 at the charity stripe. A couple massive games she's had this season. Career high 38 points last Wednesday, making 10 out of 11 free throws in the victory over Emerson, 92 to 87. Second one's good, 14 point lead, largest one of the game right now for Salve. Dewey gets fouled. It's gonna be a reach in charge to Ashley Rourke. Right now the Lions just looking for an explosion of offense to come from their team. It's been the defense that they've hung the hats on this season defensively to keep them into games. Jasperson, jumper deep too, missed to the right of the rim, tipped over though, putbacks there by Arnold. Up and in off the glass, second chance opportunity once again. That's how the previous two baskets have worked out in the favor for Whedon, the one before halftime, and then that one off the second chance point opportunity. And down low, Sophia Neary scores with a quick two. Sophia Neary up the double digits as well. Jasperson rattles in, takes it, makes it from the elbow, back to a 12 point game. They start the pressure, able to pass midcourt though for the Seahawks, baseline jumper, rolls in. Able to get it a drop by Brianna Neary for the deep two. Everything going in the way so far in this game for Savage Regina, quick up the floor though for the baskets. Maddie Mueller on the board for the senior forward from Carver, Massachusetts. Whedon starting to get that depth going on in this matchup here. They got 10 different players who's averaging around 13 minutes or greater this season per game. Lob down low, missed opportunity there off the glass, a little bit too strong by Sophia Neary. Fernandes pushes it across the floor, goes off to Dewey. Jasperson, Dewey, corner three in the air. Around it out, had a great look at it though. The Seahawks come up with a defensive rebound with Sophia Neary. That would have got the Jim rocking here in Norton, Mass. Would have cut the lead to nine if Dewey had made the three. Dewey with back-to-back -back solid games gets shredded defensively right there off the cutter behind the defense. That's a great cut going back door by Morgan Shuey for the layup. Jasperson, bounce pass Dewey, up fake. Dewey with a clear pathway downhill, right to the rim, scores up in and off the backboard. Bringing the energy right there, able to see if she can start to will her team back into the game. For the sophomore guard from Greenville, South Carolina, Madeline Dewey. Dewey's found a spark from the perimeter this season. A career high, 25 points against Eastern Connecticut State on January the 6th. The steal by Arnold. Up the floor for the Lions. Bounce pass, trailer down low. And the layup. It's good by Maddie Mueller with assist by Fernandes. It's a 10-point game with 6.15 left to go in the third. And a timeout taken on the floor by Corey Hughes for Savvy Regina. Creeping back into this game right now, drawing one to 10 for Wheaton College. A couple energy plays right there. The steal going fast break. Fernandes, fourth assist of the night just a moment ago. As we take the timeout on the floor, 6.15 left to go in the third on the New Max Sports Network. Ten point advantage for Salve Regina. We come back from the timeout. 17th all-time meeting between Whedon and Salve today. The Seahawks that lead the all-time series. Ten victories and six losses back to 1983. First season as a member of the NUMAC, previously from the CCC for the Seahawks. Mish jumper by Salve Regina. The pass downhill to the rim. Arnold, no good though. Couldn't finish in the layup. Couple chances here to cut the Seahawks lead. Down even further, but a couple misses by Whedon has allowed Savi to keep the double digit lead. Brianna Neary, top of the key for Savi. Brianna dribbles up to the elbow, hands it off outside the perimeter. Shuey off to her left to Rourke. Shot clock's down to eight, back to Shuey, guarded by Dewey at the wing. Shuey, crossover, dribbles up, skip past baseline, out to the wing. Here's a three, swoosh. 
And that is made from downtown by Amanda Fullen, the senior guard from North Attleboro, Massachusetts. That's excellent ball movement right there by the Seahawks. That's another strong suit that they've had this season. Moving the basketball around off the baseline drive for Nannies. Missed off the glass. And Salvi comes back with a rebound pressure and a steal. Jasperson off to Fernandes, gets the layup. Down by 11 here for Whedon now. Full court pressure helped out in that favor. Morgan Shuey, excellent ball handler this season, averaging above six assists per game, leading the conference. Seventh in the nation in assists per game. We have a collision down the far side of the floor. Foul picked up. Charge to Jasperson, our first personal foul. Inbound inside the low post. Off the glass, too strong. Kicked out of bounds by Jasperson. So this will stay Seahawks basketball. Salve Regina, strong offense this season, averaging 71 and a half points per game, fourth in the New Mac top, 65 in the nation. They missed a shot though by Shuey. They've scored at least 70 in 11 of 19 games entering tonight. Their season high was a 100 point total and a 156 win over Keystone College of Pennsylvania on November 18th. Martin picked up the foul. That's now number two as a team for Salve here in the third. Whedon with two as well. Fernandes turns the corner, bounce pass, kicked out of bounds by the Seahawks. Jasperson inbounds it off to Fernandes. Eight points, three rebounds, five assists. There's another one. Up and then off the glass finds Nasha Arnold with a layup. Great dime right there by Abby Fernandes. Excellent backdoor cutter by Arnold. Wide open to the hoop. Puts it down to a nine-point game. Top of the key for Shuey. Sends it off to her left to Farino. Farino losing on top now. Martin drives inside the paints. We'll draw the blocking foul. Two shots coming up at the free throw line. This will mean number 20, Amanda Folin, who will shoot two at the free throw line, a senior guard from North Attleboro, Massachusetts. Folin at 75.7% this season at the free throw line. Her career high was 20 points against Nichols College back in 2022. First one's good. Six games this season, scoring in double figures for Folin. Season high 15 against Suffolk and Mitchell. Second one off the back rim, no good. Arnold with a strong rebound. Down by 10 for the Lions. Intercepted far side of the floor here by Shuey. Out to the races, missed the layup. Great contest right there. Right at the rim by Kenneth Jasperson to get back in the fast break transition. Fernandes down low, up and in, count it and one, coming up with a free to line by Abby Fernandes. Double digits by Fernandes right now, she's up to 10 points. 11th game this season and double figures by Fernandes. Looking for a signature game tonight, her season high is 19 against Endicott. And that's the best victory all season long Whedon has had was against Endicott back on November 18th. Two wins against opponents with a winning record for Whedon. Endicott record of 10 and 8. The other win came on the road against LaSalle University, 66-61. On November 15th, the game prior to that, the free throw is good. Up to 11 now by Fernandes. LaSalle has won seven straight games with a record of 13 and 6 at the moment. And similar to Whedon, Savi Regina has only two victories against opponents with a winning record as well. One of those came last Wednesday in the critical conference matchup. On the road at Emerson, 92 to 87. The Lions commit the reach in. Now it's propelled by a career high 38 points in that game by Brianna Neary against Emerson. The other win came against Hudson University, 71 to 52 on December 28th. That was out in Daytona Beach, Florida, part of the Florida Sunshine Shootout. Hudson with a record of 12 and nine. Emerson with a record of 11 and nine. 
corner jumper. Missed off the glass. Came back to the Seahawks though with Rourke. Defense starting to tighten up lately here for Whedon in this third quarter. Missed jumper, put back chance, no good either. Another opportunity, got to the drop. Two more on the board. Sophia Neary gets the put back. As that will go out of bounds, turnover over by Whedon. That's their 11th turnover of the game, just their second of this third quarter. The big key entering this matchup for Whedon was to limit the turnovers. They're coming off a 20 turnover game against Springfield in the loss on Saturday. Both of these teams looking to bounce back after suffering a double digit loss on Saturday. Whedon lost on the road at Springfield 79 to 56. Savvy Regina lost at home against number 21 ranked Smith College. And that is an offensive foul picked up charge to the Seahawks. It's a nine point game. Whedon looking to bring the team back in. Fernandes with 11. Top of the free throw circle. Sends it off outside. Kiernan keeps the dribble. Mueller turns the corner, drives in the paint. Off the glass, no good. The rebound pulled down by Brianna Neary. Just found on another level in this game for number 11, the senior captain from Wayne, New Jersey. The game leader, 17 points by Brianna Neary. Her sister, Sophia, has it. Lobbed down low to Brianna. And the travel. So turnover committed there. Traveling violation by Brianna Neary. Sophia Neary double-double tonight, 12 points, 11 rebounds. And Brianna Neary will check out of the game right now, enter to the bench. So a chance here to see if Whedon can start to ship into the Salve Regina lead. Nine-point advantage here for the Seahawks down to under 145 left to go in the third. Sprague outside to the top. Mueller straight away three. Swoosh. She delivers. Maddie Mueller, bang, bang from the top of the key. It's a six-point game with a minute and a half left to go in the third. Making things interesting right now. That's the key here. If Whedon can start to drop down there, three is late. They have an opportunity. The Seahawks ranking in the bottom 20 in perimeter defense this season. Last in the new Mac, allowing opponents to shoot around 33% from the perimeter. Fernandes, jumper, deep two. Skipped around the rim and out. That's where she likes to go for the mid-range. Couldn't send it down, though, by Fernandes. 11 points total by Fernandes. Sophia Neary drives inside, rejected by the bottom part of the rim, looking for the foul call as she was guarded by Mueller. Fernandes up the floor, bounce pass, cut into the hoop, and no good on the layup. Kiernan missed it. They've had a couple opportunities that they missed tonight. Inside the low post, not able to get them to drop, and that's been a difference maker, only down by six here. The lines will commit. The reach and foul picked up on the floor. That's on Fernandes, and now that's number five. Charge to Whedon, so this will be free throws here. In the bonus for the Seahawks. 37.3 seconds left to go in the third. Ashley Rourke, two free throws. Been excellent at the free throw line this season. 86.4% drills the first one. Rourke's career high was 24 points against Gordon last season. She's got 15 games scoring at double figures. And now Rourke is up to 10 points as she makes it 16. So 16th game this season now by Rourke in double figures scoring. Five of those games scoring at least 20 points. A season high 22 against Salem State and Regis College. 30 seconds left to go. There's a six second differential between shot clock and game clock to close out the third quarter. Boston dribbles up to the elbow outside Jasperson. Moves it out to her left. Mueller up big. Oh, nice move down low off the pivot. She scores up and in off the backboard. Great job right there off the pivot by Maddie Mueller, the senior four from Carver, Massachusetts, under five seconds. Shuey lost the handle, turns it over as the buzzer sounds. It's a six-point game heading into the fourth quarter. Wheaton College with the momentum tonight on their home floor, down as many by 14 at 
one point here, 15 points at one point in this game in the second quarter. They were down by 14 in the third. Largest lead for Salve was 33 to 18 at one point. And now the Lions have crept back in this game. Some big baskets made for Nandy, starting to get into a rhythm. Same as Maddie Mueller right now, four for five, shooting 11 points. Able to find a wide open layup off the pivot inside the low post. They have three players now in double figures. 11 with Fernandes, 11 by Mueller. Cater with 10 right now entering the fourth quarter. Three players as well, double figures scoring for Salva Regina. 17 by Brianna Neary. 12 and 12 with points and rebounds by Sophia Neary. And 10 points by Ashley Rourke. We enter the fourth quarter coming up. 10 minutes remaining, 55-49. This will be back in a couple moments on the New Max Sports Network. Field goal shooting efficiency was the big difference maker in the first half of action. Salve went into the half shooting around 42%, Whedon at around 36% as Boston goes down the hard. No call with the referees as we start off the fourth quarter of action. So it's a turnover committed by Whedon. That's their 12th turnover of the game. And that's below their season average of around 19. Rourke. At the wing, guarded by Fernandes. Rourke, crossover, dribbles up, inside a key. Kick out, left corner, open three. Swoosh. That's made from downtown for Olivia Martin, the senior from Hanson, Massachusetts. Martin on the board, first basket tonight. Jumper at the free throw circle. Got it. Regan Cater stood off the back rim, dropped down though for two. Cater's got 12 right now, the top score. Fernandes and Mueller both with 11 at the moment. Mueller's career high, knocking on the doorstep is 12. Rourke connects on the two. Ashley Rourke now with 12, the trio today for Salve. Doing damage in this game, 17 by Brianna Neary, 12 by Sophia Neary, Rourke up to 12 as well as Fernandes draws the contact here. Down low will shoot two coming up at the free throw line. Ashley Rourke now in quite a bit of foul trouble, picks up her third personal foul. Will stay in the game here with 8.42 left to go in the fourth. Fernandes, two critical free throws down by nine. Got the bounce. First one's good. Six assists tonight by Abby Fernandes. That's one shy of a season high, which he had last Wednesday with seven against Clark. Second free throw is good. 13 now, the top score for Whedon tonight for Abby Fernandes. Her season high is 19. Her career high is 37, alongside 10 steals, which is tied for first most in program history in points and steals in the single game. Came back in 2022 against Eastern Nazarene College. Rourke with 12 points, dribbles up, spin move, kept the handle of it. On the top, Sophia Neary out to her sister, Brianna. Jumper drills it at the baseline. Sophia with an assist, Brianna with a bucket. Approaching eight minutes left to go on the fourth, Jasperson. Bounce pass stolen away, jumped the route, intercepted it by Neary. Neary crossover, gets around Fernandes and gets followed. Tough pass right there by Kenneth Jasperson as she was trying to look to thread the needle and Sophia Neary read it perfectly. And Whedon trying to come back in this game, but the duo of the Neary sisters with other ideas in this matchup been able to take control of today's game. Fernandes with three personal fouls. The referees say that it's on the floor, so it's not in the shooting motion, so non Shooting foul as this Salve's ball 
Kept alive off the deflection. Baseline dribble, lost the handle. Fernandes almost came up with a steal. Rourke takes the three straight away, got it. She's been major from downtown in this game. Third made triple tonight by Ashley Rourke. Jasperson, bounce pass off to Arnold, this time cleanly at the free throw circle. Fake the hand off to Boston, now hands it off to Jasperson, spots up, takes it. Missed off the glass too strong. Brianna Neary collects the defensive rebounds. 19 points, four rebounds, two assists, two steals. Tonight by Brianna Neary as we approach the seven minute mark left to go. Rourke, bounce pass kicked by Fernandes. A lot of success this season by Save coming from that trio. Sophia and Brianna Neary averaging above 15 points per game. Ashley Rourke averaging 13 and a half right now. All three in double figures at the moment. Jumper misfired off the back rim. No good by Rourke. Offensive rebound keeps alive. Off the glass bits by Sophia Neary as Arnold collects the defensive rebounds. Jasperson out to the corner. They'll try a three here, Sprague. Offensive rebound, Cater. Sprague dribbles up inside the key. Leaves it down for Cater, who couldn't collect it, and the Seahawks came up with a steal. Six and a half left to go now. This game slipping onto the hands of Whedon currently. Massive matchup between both of these teams. One team will get back to 500. The other team will be two games under 500. Overall after this one, and the three is good. Morgan Shuey drills the triple. Tie for the largest lead of the game of the Seahawks up by 15. Seven points by Shuey. She has three steals, three assists tonight. Ranked inside the top 10 in the nation, averaging 6.2 assists per game. Arnold. Jumper, no good on the deep two. The Seahawks here will look to slow down tempo with a comfortable 15 point advantage. Under six minutes left to play. Shuey, tied a season high 11 assists against Keystone College of Pennsylvania on November 18th. Swings it out on top, off to Rourke. Has made three threes today, the game leader from the perimeter. Bounce pass out to the wing. Shot clock winds down the three. Dribbles up inside a key. Blocked. They're going to roll the blocking follow, though. Picked up by Cater. So contact there in the layup motion. And this will be two free throws coming up at the line by Amanda Fullen, the senior guard from North Attleboro, Massachusetts, for the Seahawks as Cater picks up her third personal foul. We'll substitute out of the game now. First free throw missed to the line. Down by 15 currently for Whedon. Next five games remaining in the schedule. They have five more games remaining for the Lions, closing out the season. They're looking to make a push towards the top eight in the New Mac Conference tournament, which the top eight teams out of 12 will qualify for the New Mac Conference tournament quarterfinals. That begins on Wednesday, February 21st. Next game. The Lions will look to bounce back. They'll be taking on Babson College. Babson winning today over Wellesley by 29 points. 80 to 51 victory today for Babson. So Whedon's next game will be on Saturday hosting Babson at 1 p.m. Babson improves, improving the four and two in New Mac Conference play. After that, their next road game next Wednesday for Whedon on the road at Wellesley College at 7 p.m. Wellesley. Winless in the New Mac tie with Mount Holyoke at 0 and 6 in the conference, 7 and 11 overall. And then Senior Day, Whedon's back on Senior Day, Saturday, February 10th at 1 p.m., hosting Emerson, which is 2 and 4 in the New Mac. Currently 8th place in the conference with an 11 and 9 overall record. So certainly there's some games that are winnable there that they can turn things around. Right now, Whedon's just outside the top 8 of the conference standings and a tie for 9th place alongside WPI. Games that's playing here currently are games that's gone final throughout the conference. MIT winners over Emerson today, 70 to 62. So Emerson drops the two and four to conference. MIT improves the five and one. Babson up to four and two in the conference with a big win over Wellesley, 80 to 51 today. WPI leading Clark at the moment, 43 to 28. Clark came into that game four and one 
in conference play. WPI was just one and four in the conference, so that will go down as an upset. Springfield has won over Mount Holyoke 73 to 29 tonight. So we have contact on the shots. We'll have two free throws coming up here by Riley Sprague. Smith right now leading in the third quarter against Coast Guard 49 to 36. And both of those teams with a four and one conference record tied to the top. First one's good by Riley Sprague at the free throw line. Savi Regina upcoming schedule. They've got more of a challenge compared to Whedon. Four out of their five last opponents remaining for Save have a four to one conference record entering tonight between Springfield, Clark, Coast Guard, and MIT, but they get their easier game coming up next. The easiest one on the schedule, Saturday 1 p.m. on the road at Wellesley for Salve. After that, their next home game is next Wednesday, 7 p.m. hosting Springfield, and then Saturday, February 10th, on the road at 1 p.m. taking on Clark. Skipped around and in, it's good for two by Abby Fernandes. 15, the top score for Whedon for Fernandes. Down by 13 here with 4.45 left to go. Neary at the mid block, sends it on top. Up fake, dribbles up to the free throw circle, back out to the wing off to Shuey. Shuey guarded by Dewey. Shuey, baseline drive, kicks it out to the corner. Off the up fake, creates space. Jumper missed off the mark, keeps it alive with the offensive rebound. And the putbacks there by Sophia Neary. Big game today by the Neary sisters, 19 by Brianna, 14 points, 13 rebounds by Sophia, and Ashley Rourke chipping in with 15 as well, making three threes. As this will go to Salve off the jump ball tie up. Defense, 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 defense. 71 to 56 for the Seahawks. As Salve will improve to 4-2 in conference play. Whedon will go down to 1-5 and five in the conference, looking to see if they can bounce back against Babson on Saturday. As the Lions commit the reach and the foul, that's their fourth now in the fourth quarter as a team picked up by Riley Sprague, her first personal foul. Whedon didn't make things interesting here late stage of the third quarter, but wheels fell off entering the fourth part of a 14-5 fourth quarter run by Savi Regina. Shuey, jumper deep two, connects on it. Morgan Shuey. She is now up to nine total points in the game. Surpassing her season average at eight as we have a timeout taken on the floor by Whedon. 73 to 56 to score, down to 328 left to go in the fourth quarter. As we'll take the time out here, we'll be back in a couple of moments on the New Max Sports Network. Salvi Regina with an excellent game today on the road at Whedon College. The Seahawks leading 73 to 56, surpassing their season average, which they rank fourth in the conference in points scored per game this season for the Seahawks. Excellent offense that they have had this season for Salvi, putting up an average of 71.5 points per game. And Whedon searching for answers, especially in the offensive side of the ball, as they've struggled to have a go-to score for their team this season, limited to just 59.7 points per game, ranked at the bottom of the New Mac at 10th. Save shooting just under 45% of Whedon at 41.5% as the Seahawks come up with a steal. The Lions turned it over for the 15th time tonight. Just nine total turnovers by Save. Dewey with nine, her pass broken up, intercepted by Dewey. And in transition, it will be a reach and foul picked up by Follin. Yeah. 
Under three left to go. Fernandes hands it off to Boston. Boston looking to get on the board tonight. Yet the score so far, a three taken by Dewey. Missed off the back rim. Offensive rebound keeps alive by Arnold. Off the spin move goes up. No foul. Roll the referee as she got stripped. And it will stay Whedon basketball. Regan Kather with her second double-double this season. 12 points, 10 rebounds currently. Limited to just one rebound here, though, in the second half. She entered halftime with nine. Arnold at the top. Fernandes. Shot clock down to four. Fernandes has to launch. Takes it. Top of the free throw circle. No good off the back rim. Three players, double figures for Salve, really carrying the weight of this team tonight between the two Neary sisters and Ashley Rourke. Shuey looking to be the Fort Seahawk, the double figure. She's got nine. Shuey, jumper, deep two, a swoosh. She's got it. Foot was on the three point line. They rolled a two by Morgan. Shuey with 11. Time out on the floor by Wheaton College, 75 to 56, Savvy Regina. Their largest lead of the game up by 19. An offensive clinic here in the fourth quarter by the Seahawks, shooting the ball 70% from the floor on seven for 10 in the fourth quarter, limiting Wheaton to just two for six from the floor in the fourth quarter. It's an 18 to seven advantage in the fourth for the Seahawks. We'll be back for the final 147 coming up here in a couple moments on the New Max Sports Network. Nineteen point lead, largest lead of the game. Whedon looking to make this as a building block towards the next game against Babson, which they'll face them on Saturday at 1 p.m. That will be a home game for Whedon. Salve Regina traveling to Wellesley College at 1 p.m. on Saturday. Free toes here, now the bonus. Nasha Arnold, two shots, first one, no good. 59 combined points between a quad of players tonight for Salve. Brianna Neary with 19, Ashley Rourke with 15, making a game high three threes. Sophia Neary with 14, 11 by Morgan Shuey on the far side of the floor. As this goes, possession arrow to Whedon. So off the tie up, it will be a Lions ball. Inbound goes to Boston. Two points tonight by Anaya Boston. Had a career high 14, making three threes against Mount Holyoke back on January 17th. Fernandes off the glass, too strong. Pressure in the backcourt down to 117 left as the Lions give a foul. That's now their fourth as a team. Fourth personal foul as well, picked up by Abby Fernandes. Shuey gonna slow it down, final. 110 and under remaining for an impressive victory today by Savi Regina. They came into this game, same record as Whedon at 9 and 10. They're going to finish at 500, whereas Whedon will drop two games below 500 to 9 and 11 this season. Cater got the back bucket going back door. Regan Cater, 14 points, 10 rebounds tonight. Cater picks up the blocking foul. 
This will be two coming up at the free throw line for the Seahawks. Brianna Neary still out there looking for 20. 19 points. She's got four games with at least 20 this season. Can make it five here with a made free throw. First one's good. Three double doubles this season by Brianna Neary. Second free throw right down the middle. Her sister Sophia has 14 points alongside 15 rebounds in this game tonight. That's now her eight double double this season, ranking top five in the New Mac double doubles, top 85 in the nation. And also Sophia Neary tonight ties a career high 15 rebounds. So she had 25 points with a career high 15 rebounds against Mitchell College on November 28th for Sophia Neary. She ties that number tonight at the moment with 14 points alongside that career high of 15 boards. 79 to 58 to score down to 44 seconds left to go. Both of these teams coming back from the timeout right now. Strong bench team for Wheaton and outnumbered Salve's bench 21 to seven, but a strong starting five for the Seahawks as the Lions give it away off the inbounds. An efficient fourth quarter for Salve. Shot the ball 75% from the floor right now in this fourth quarter, nine for 12. As Wheaton started to chip into that Salve lead in the third quarter. Whedon had an incredibly strong third quarter at 52.6%. They went 10 for 19, but limited to just 10 total shots here in the fourth quarter at three for 10, down to the final 30 seconds. And the layups made off the baseline drive for the Seahawks. That is Amanda Folin who gets the two. Double figures by Folin, she's got 11. The entire starting five tonight for Salve. Scores double figures. Bounce back game for the Seahawks after just one starter scored in double figures against Smith on Saturday. It'll stay Whedon ball deflected out of bounds with 6.3 seconds left to go. Inbound to Fernandes, final five seconds. Sprague at the top. Force up the three at the buzzer, missed off the back rim, and we close out. Salve Regina, impressive road victory, making the trip. One hour from the south in Newport, Rhode Island, up to Norton, Massachusetts tonight. The Seahawks putting five starters on double figures in this game. Brianna Neary led the way with 21 points. Seven for nine at the free throw line, seven for 16 shooting from the floor. Ashley Rourke made a game high three threes. She had 15 points. Brianna's sister, Sophia, tagging in a double double, 14 points alongside a career high 16 rebounds and marks her eight double double this season by Sophia Neary, who ranks top five in the New Mac in double doubles. Morgan Shuey with 13 total points, five rebounds, three assists, three steals, and also with a bucket lead by Amanda Folin to get herself up to 11 points and double figure scoring as well. Wheaton College led by three players tonight in double digits. Abby Fernandes, 15 points, the top scorer for Wheaton alongside six assists. Regan Cater, double double for the second time this season, 14 points, 10 rebounds. Maddie Mueller, 11 points tonight for Mueller as we wrap up here inside the Emerson Gym at the Haas Athletic Center. Savvy Regina, a road victory tonight at Wheaton College final score. 81 to 58, Salve over Whedon. Thanks so much, everybody, for joining in. Sal Lopez on the broadcast on the New Max Sports Network as we sign off. Salve Regina wins over Whedon College, 81 to 58, the final score.